Hello everyone in Panel Avatar, and for this video I will be making a home but with basic shapes and structures only. That means I will not be using walls, floors, roofs, fences, pillars, etc. As you guys probably all know already, we recently got a Transformation Plus tool which allows us to move basic shapes in a way we never could before. This just unlocked an infinite number of possibilities when it comes to building. Watch until the very end to see what I come up with. Okay, so I did say I was gonna make a house. Well, in the title I did, but I'm actually making more of a home, really, because this isn't a house, because it's gonna be a caravan. I thought of making this because I've always wanted to make one after I saw Aikatori's build. Um, yeah, we're gonna attempt that right now. So I was thinking that I could just make the outside out of this, but I think that I would want to use actual couches, you know, for the couches because I don't think it's gonna work if if we can't even sit on like the couches and stuff. So with furniture, we're still using actual furniture. Uh, let's start with the base, okay? Let's see how big we can um, make it. Uh, how big is a car? Maybe I'll put a car down for reference actually. I think we're just gonna go for around four squares and I think just two. Oh gosh, that's kind of tight my goodness uh, maybe we can make it a little bit more than just two squares wide and with the transformation tool i'll be using it right now so i'll just like grab this make sure that this is on um the big grid i'm gonna lift it above like that how tall even is a caravan bro i just realized that we can't put doors because you know this is like a basic shape challenge though i'm making the one that's like you connect to the actual car so i'm gonna put like a a tow bar mabob thing pulley thingy that's we have there so for this part i'm gonna make it a little bit bigger because i just want this cylinder oh that's too much um, i just want this like cylinder thing to be the shape of the top of the <laughs> vehicle i don't know if i'm explaining that right but you guys will see in a second um, and for this side it's a little bit sloped as well so i think we're just gonna reuse this but for the bottom oh no it's looking a little ugly inside <laughs> It's okay, we'll have to deal with that later, I think. Um, I think it's looking kind of cute. You should probably make the door, because I just, I'm really curious as to what it's gonna look like. Okay, it turns out it doesn't really look as good outside. <laughs> okay, so I made it on the grass, and <gasps> yes, so I can move it around now, because, you know, there's like a transparent basic shape at the bottom. And yes, I can move it up as well. Yes, success. So now, color. Uh, let's go for like a stripey metal. Though I don't think they have that. The overlapping is kind of weird a little bit over here, but we should be able to salvage it. Well, I guess we're not gonna have any windows. No, I don't like this. It's, it's seeming a bit too claustrophobic if we don't have any. So maybe we should put one at the front and one at the back over here. Okay, so I've definitely put windows. I think we might have to put a glass so that way no one can like get in, you know? This is for safety, guys. Really want to change the texture because they overlap and they look really weird. But I just don't know what texture to put. No! Ah, pattern ones really don't look good. I feel like a sleeping bag would be nice. We'll just have to use a basic shape to make it a platform and then put like a bookshelf thing because you know, um, uh, we need to save some space because we're traveling light. <laughs> okay, it does not look good. <laughs> Retreat. I think we're gonna use a kid's drawer instead because it's kind of perfect, look at this. And over here, we definitely want counters and everything since we are going to have a kitchen. Okay, so let's check it out now. Wow, it's actually quite spacious inside. Right now, I want to make cupboards up here, but I'm going to have to make them with basic shapes. These kind of remind me of the overhead um, compartments in a, an airplane. <laughs> oh my gosh, they look so nice. Actually, these are looking a little awkward now that I think about it. I want to make it a little bit bigger. I feel like that would benefit everyone. I feel like they are gonna be like the things that you pull upwards. I just have a hunch that it's gonna be like that. <laughs> Let's focus on um, the outside of our caravan once again. I think it needs some wheels. Otherwise, how can it move, huh? It's so cute. <laughs> I'm in need of a wheel right now. So I think I'm gonna pick this. 
Okay, I feel like we have to make this like black colored. Okay, that's a little bit better, I reckon. Ooh, it's looking very cute. Although in some of these images, they're actually not showing. They're just like inside. And some of them only have it at the front. Now why would they do that? But it looks so pretty. Okay, well, I guess we're better off putting it inside then. If that's what's um, real life accurate. <laughs> oh my gosh. We can totally put this on like the top. <laughs> no, I think I like that. I've added the borders and now we can comfortably put these back on. I've been working on this for a while now and I'm still not satisfied with the outside of it. And honestly, I'm running out of patience. <laughs> so I'm thinking of adding this thing. Hopefully it'll salvage it because um, if not, I honestly don't know what I'm gonna do. There's been something I've been wanting to do with these blankets. And I'm wondering if um, I'm able to do it. Uh, so yeah, let's see. It's actually kind of nice. <laughs> Wait, I think this might be a vibe <laughs> that I think about it. Um, question. Should this be open? <laughs> should it? Because <laughs> I honestly can't tell if it should. So I've made the hole. <laughs> And I think I might have discovered something. Um, I think I can prevent these overlaps. As long as I kind of move it a little bit in, um, it won't be totally like perfect, but at least it doesn't have these weird patterns. Well, let's see how we go. Okay, moving it back right now. See, it's a lot better. Okay, following this, we're gonna be adding that thing that connects to the tow bar. Okay, so this is the front of it. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> and so these ones over here kind of have some sort of um, pull up or pull down little stairs thing. So we're gonna have to make that with basic shapes once again. So there we go. And these over here are going to be the little um, headlights, not headlights, brake lights. <laughs> They're like vents are also a really nice addition. And I'm thinking of putting another one of this over here as well. And these are just the brake lights as well. Should they be red? I mean, it's not connected to any car. Oh, it could be. <gasps> oh my goodness. No, because I really like it. <laughs> this place could really use um, a little curtain. <laughs> And we are going to be doing that by using this round rod. <laughs> this is kind of a hazard considering it's next to the stove. We're going to need a rod because what's going to hold up our curtains if not a rod? Some more books. I feel like this person is a bit of a reader, you know, really down to earth type of person. And I feel like they would have posters everywhere as well. This person would definitely nurse a cactus plant as well. Oops, so let's just add that. It's a little bit big, actually. <laughs> now, because we don't have a toilet here, oh, we just can't fit one, huh? Because we don't have a toilet, we're probably gonna make a porta potty right here. We've made them before, we just have to remake them, sadly. You know, I just realized why I wanted to make this. <laughs> this camper van it was because i was watching um barbie um, um the one where she was like on a road trip and then you can select your destiny or whatever as an old person okay, i'm not old i'm 21 i'm not that old okay i think that you know it just never really goes away the whole wanting to watch barbie thing it becomes a little bit you know uh, socially unacceptable but <laughs> Uh, it's okay. Uh, so now I'm going to surround it with a lot of cacti. Okay, so I realize I kind of don't want to make like a porta potty right now because I'm like at the very end of it. I'm very tired and my stomach hurts. Anyways, I'm going to have a peeing bush like I always do. And this peeing bush has flowers and everything. And it's really special because, well, it's at the back of our caravan so no one like sees it. Well, sees us you know, peeing in it. But yeah, so the way the flowers will like thrive and stuff like that is for you to like pee on it, okay? So it's not, it's not a shameful thing to do. I'm just saying. And of course the flowers would be golden. If you don't know, this is actually a thing in Sims. There are peeing bushes. Um, and yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this in the middle and we're just gonna hide. We're gonna hide it because this is a peeing bush and it's definitely not here because I got really lazy. 
<laughs> and decided not to, you know, put a toilet. There we go. Okay, so I think we are finally finished. This is our basic shape challenge, okay? And if people are like, well, she definitely didn't just use basic shapes. She used like, you know, stuff. Well, yeah, because those are furnitures. But other than that, I didn't use any floors, roofs, walls, you name it. Just basic shapes. At least to make most of the exterior. So this is what I came up with. I definitely didn't want to do like a normal house because who would want a normal house, okay? Um, the first thing I really want to do before we go inside, well, I already did, is to check out our... <laughs> Hey, <laughs> pink bush, it's so cute. Um, and if people could make this into a, like a trend, people should really start using pink bushes because honestly, they're revolutionary. Why? Because I'm pretty sure it's the way to save the planet or something. <laughs> There's a lot of cacti everywhere, or cacti shouldn't even have an S because it's already a plural. Turns out I can't even move from here because, yeah, duh. Our um, mabob is like parked, so obviously I can't move. This is solely for decoration purposes, okay? So outside, we have our open door and we're just chilling. We can just sit here and just chill, drink whatever you know um i should have put more appliances but i didn't really feel like it we do have a um little thing over here okay i do not want milk okay i am not a child i would like a fruit juice so over here as you can see i have a lot of sailor moon stuff because at first i was gonna be like okay they should be like decals of all of my current anime crushes but i'm like you know what stuff it i'm gonna put sailor moon there because she is my childhood um one thing guys if you want to recreate this just be aware you can't close the door okay it's a fake door it's not real you can even sit here with the friends obviously these ones you can't open as well but you know what i really like um what we accomplished actually these worked really nicely so yeah this is what it looks like and i hope you're proud of me because this only took me a long time like four hours probably. But yeah, see you on the next video and I hope you like this one.